Hey, it's Jason from Bohemia Bees and we're in the apiary. We're looking at a five frame nuke now. As you can see, lots of bees on the front, still early spring, lots of bees in the uh, five frame nuke. And I wanna prevent these from swarming. So I'm gonna move them into a 10 frame box and then slide this 10 frame box in the position of the other one so they can orient right back to the same location, just with more space. One of the strategies that we use um, or really any beekeeper would use is to prevent swarming is to give them more space. We use an 80-50 rule. An 80-50 rule is looking at the volume of bees in your colony and determining if they meet the criteria to expand to another box or put a, another box on top. Um, and, and let me explain to you what I mean by 80-50. Okay, so when you're observing your, your box of bees, you have the number of frames that's in your box. You can see there are five in this one. And the bees are obviously covering it more than 80% of the frames. There are five frames and they're covering or working at least four of the five. Maybe not this undrawn foundation frame, but definitely these four here. So that's more than 80%. And then the second number is 50% or 50. So if we pull this outside, foundation frame and we look at it that is more than 50 percent of the frame you might not have thought about it when you're looking at it from top down but that's definitely more than 50 percent that's less than 50 percent so they so this particular frame in total front and back the bees are working this more than 50 percent so it meets that second number when we're talking about 80 50. we're going to go ahead and take this frame and slide it over into our new box. We've got additional frames in here, some drawn comb and some other foundation that we want to expand it. And if you notice, I stuck that in the middle rather than putting it on the end because I want to encourage the bees to draw out the undrawn comb. And they usually work from the center out to draw out comb. So I'm going to push some of those more unfinished frames in the center. I'll still keep the bird's nest together but I want to make sure that I can put some check. It's called checkerboarding, essentially. Moving on to the next frame. We're going to slide that over and pull that out. Again, we're looking for 50% coverage on the frames. That's 100% coverage on the frames. Okay, and if I look inside, there are eggs in that, in that frame, which means the queen is laying. We have a queen right... right colony and we're going to need to take and put this frame looking at the other side again 100 percent so we're going to take that and slide that right here in the middle next to an undrawn frame and the frame that had 100 percent of the bees on it so that way the bees that work these two sides will work this undrawn frame we're going to move an undrawn frame next to that one and grab the next frame in our five frame nucleus. When you're working with bees, you want to be deliberate and don't move fast, but you want to move abrupt so that you can keep the bees from getting upset by you moving them around. Again, we're looking at 100% coverage. Capped brood, look, doing a little waggle dance down in there. They're bringing the pollen in. Definitely a solid frame. Got another solid frame with some capped brood and larvae all stages as well. Drones in this colony, that's a good sign. Put that one right there. The next frame. There we go. Drones, looks like we have some eggs and such inside on that side. 100% coverage on this side, some cat brood, larvae in all stages on that side. Again, a very solid colony. Now I'm gonna take this particular one and I'm gonna move this one undrawn frame away from that one and move it here. Because we are not getting below 50 degrees at night, I'm not concerned about breaking that brood's nest up as much because they can still cluster. There's enough bees on these frames 
that they can take care of those frames. And then of course, we're gonna take this next frame or last frame and pull it out. Notice how I pull the frame straight up so I don't potentially roll a queen or squish a queen. We got some, this is a heavier frame. They're putting a lot of resources in this outside frame, which is what they typically do on a brood's nest is put the resources in the outside. So lots of resources on this frame, lots of bees. We're gonna take that and slide that right in there as well, okay? So now we have our five frames in a 10 frame, but there's only nine, so we're gonna push them together and slide another frame in. Let's do that now. You always want to tighten your frames up. Respect the B space. That's the space between this frame and this frame. Okay. And because that was an outside frame and there was brood on this one right here, I'm going to take and push that out. Okay. And I'm going to put the frame of drawn comb that I have here in here. Okay, so now we have 10 frames from a five frame to a 10 frame. And then you always wanna tighten up your frames so that they center, they're centered and you respect B space. All right, so now if we look at this colony, we've got five solid frames and five new frames with some foundation. This gives them plenty of time to build out those frames, draw out those frames when we have a good nectar flow right now. It'll build out all these ones that are foundation. It'll also allow for the queen to expand in the rest of the colony and prevent them from swarming because they know they have plenty of space. So that's what we mean about um, the 80-50 rule and respecting bee space and building out your colony. I'm going to go ahead and dump these extra bees, the bees that are left in this box in here, and then slide this box over in the position of where that five frame was so that the bees that are oriented out front will know to come into this colony the bigger colony um, because this box will no longer be here. Uh, one thing else I want to do is again make sure that the uh, the colony is 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 cleaned up and ready to go. Um, I'm going to make sure that you know I've gotten all the uh, parts back in place and I'm going to put my reducers on the front as I normally typically do this time of year like we have over on this colony with um, to allow the uh, bees to help defend the colony. So that's what we do when we work on a, a colony. If you had the similar situation here that was a 10 frame and they had 80% coverage on 10 frames, that would be your indication that you need to put a box on top, either another 10 frame box to draw out. You know, if you want to use that as a honey super, they get pretty heavy with a, with a deep um, or you put a medium, right? So you can start to draw out honey if you use a queen excluder or not, but that's for a different video. I hope that helps explain the 80-50 rule. Um, hopefully you, uh, if you have any questions, that helps you with your beekeeping um, again, we don't try to prescribe uh, ways to do bee, to take care of bees. We just show you how we take care of bees and hopes that it helps you. So I uh, appreciate everyone in subscribing to the channel, watching and following along as we make uh, bee videos and content for you to enjoy here in the Bohemia Apiary where beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby. It's an obsession.